G'day guys, welcome to Ali on Herbs with Ali Sanchez. I'm your host, Peter Montgomery from the PeterMontgomeryShow.com. Ali is a practicing traditional herbalist working out of her clinic in Glenbrook in the Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney. And Ali is very passionate about educating the general public on the uses and benefits of the common herbs, the ones that you probably have in your garden right now. So what have you got for us this week, Ali? Hey, Pete. Um, yeah, well, today I was going to talk about ginkgo. Uh, ginkgo biloba is um, a herb that has a great affinity with the brain and the lungs. Now, with the lungs, it's used for um, asthma in particular. It has great success with asthma because it helps to um, stop um, spasms in the lungs, which is what happens in asthmatic attacks, is those spasms. So it just helps to calm them down. So a cup of um, ginkgo tea, which is made with the leaves, um, is a great idea for people with um, asthma. Um, probably more commonly known and more popularly useful, uh, ginkgo is used for memory. Uh, ginkgo increases cerebral uh, blood flow, which means blood to the brain. So it just increases that you know energy to the brain. Um, both ginkgo and sage, which was before have been used uh, like so, uh, modern science has started to do tests on them and they've they found too that what you know the ancient herbalists have always known is that they do help with um, modern um, memory and um, slowing down the effects of Alzheimer's. Okay now with um, sage, rosemary and ginkgo all being uh, herbs that are you know, really good for memory do you use them together uh, do you use them separately like yeah could you talk a bit about how you actually blend these together or if you do? Yeah, no, that's a good question, Pete. Um, you can use your herbs separately and you will definitely um, see effects in your body um, when you take them separately. Um, my role and my training as a herbalist is about blending. So I do, um, in, in my work, I blend. Um, one of the mixes I've made for myself here, which has a very spunky um, label on it, is, can you see that, the brain mix? Yeah, the brain mix is exactly what we spoke about, uh, rosemary, sage and ginkgo. So I use those three um, herbs that um, work well with brain and memory um, for myself. So that's a mix that I take most days. Now, with those mixes, like some herbs, I'd imagine it's kind of like cooking. Um, some things, foods work together, some some don't. You know, Vegemite and garlic. I don't know, it doesn't sound like a great combination, but garlic... Yeah, and, and rosemary is good. So, yeah, could it, how, do herbs work in the same way? Sometimes some work together, some don't. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's a great question. Um, that is where the art of herbal medicine is, and that's where the basis of my training is, is actually in the blending. Because not only do different herbs work differently together, and um, some are more synergistic together than others, but also the person that you're treating, you have to take into account their constitution and their health history and their life circumstances as well. So, yeah, that's like I said, that's the art of um, being a herbalist, and that's the part I enjoy. Ali, thanks so much. Uh, I look forward to next week. Yeah, great. Thanks, Pete. I'll see you later.